When I first started off, not going to lie, I was immediately annoyed by the sound effects used for dialogue between characters. Like, let me give you a sample of it, and you tell me this shit isn't annoying first listen. Bro, these sound effects fucking annoying me, bro. I already had them twice so far, but already fucking annoying. Dog. No, it, it can't just be me, then. Please stop talking to me. These sound effects hurt. It also didn't help that the first NPC I met started laughing at me so hard that it can be seen coming from off screen. <laughs> you know how loud you have to be laughing for it to be coming from off screen, bro. Oi, hey, hey. The gameplay is simple. You get to jog left and right, a jump, a dash, and a climb button. Not going to lie, when I first started this game, I was high as fuck, and I forgot they taught me how to climb. Here is footage of that. I am very bad. I'd get in this jump. Fuck! No! You don't wanna try to rob me after how much, how many fucking times I died to that garbage? Ugh. Although, in hindsight, I would say completing this part without climbing is more of an achievement than a moment of stupidity. Yes, I am coping. Now let's talk level design. The design of each level in Celeste are all unique and different to each other, so you're never gonna get bored of the ways they find for you to commit suicide for landing incorrectly. In this one, it's just simple ice spikes that you have to avoid. In this one, almost everywhere you walk is trying to kill you by spawning a weird black fungus. Over here, you're being chased by an army of angry Twitter people for having an op a different opinion. And in another, you get to take the role of the angry Twitter mob and chase after the person who doesn't agree with you as they try to flee and defend themselves. Also, as you progress through the game, you will encounter these strawberries. They are completely optional and do not affect the game in any way whatsoever. A matter of fact, the game even tells you that. But, <laughs> you know, we have to collect as many strawberries as we can. Some strawberries are easy to get, others are... Uh, like this. The music playing on each level fits their theme comfortably, in my opinion. Honestly though, after downloading the soundtrack and listening to it on its own, I don't see myself listening to much of it without the aid of the visuals from the game. The tracks are great for Celeste, but outside of it as a song to throw on in the background, none really do it for me with the exception of two, which are Resurrection and Scattered and Lost, cause well, <laughs> you listen to this piano and tell me this isn't fire. Just take these real quick. You and you. Also, a cool detail to note is that as you progress the level that this track is featured on, it actually evolves as it goes on. Like, I'll leave it for you to play the game and listen, but let's know that shit. It is great. It sounds good. Remember those annoying sound effects I mentioned at the start? Well, believe it or not, I grew accustomed to them, and as I gave the dialogue my attention, my immersion in the conversations taking place was set in stone. Due to the amazing atmosphere that the game creates using its background music and visuals, it really compels you to sit down and read what is taking place, even if it's a completely optional section, like the one on screen between Celeste and Theo. In conclusion, Celeste was a fun game that I enjoyed my time with and would recommend to anyone that enjoys platforming, dying over and over, or traps, 
and I ain't talking about the ones that you avoid during the game. <laughs> If you made it to this part of the video, that means I did my job properly and held your attention this long. So let me know your honest thoughts of the review in the comment section. Adios.